Hello people, no, it is not clickbait, English 151 is getting reprinted. So here's what I know, I know someone that has access to distributors in the European Union and uh, their distributors is saying that 151, English 151 is getting a reprint somewhere between Q3 and Q4 of 2024. Now six months from now, so December, you may come back here and say, Barrett, you were lying, the reprint never happened. It's possible. I'm not telling you it's guaranteed. I'm telling you what I know. What I know is this guy who has access to distributors in the European Union told me that his distributor is starting to get pre-orders at distro level for English 151. Now, if you're still watching, and if you are, I would I mean, j just subscribe really so you can stay updated. I'm not, not that I, I can benefit from it at all. I would obviously would not be much more happy if you subscribed, but just saying you can just, if you want to stay up to date with uh, great content, then maybe it's the right thing to do. Anyways, what I'm saying is that's what's happening. If you're watching and you're American and you're still watching by now, again, subscribe and thanks for, for, for still being here. This, I mean, if it's happening in the European Union, most likely it's going to happen in the US. Why? Well, if it's getting reprinted in English in the European Union, in the European Union, uh, just remember that supply ran out of stock quicker. So it makes sense that it's getting reprinted here because we didn't have, I remember that the booster bundles that are for retail, I think at $26.99, $29.99 in the US, maybe $26.99, um, not, don't, don't remember exactly. You couldn't find them for any less than 35 euros at release. So at release they were above MSRP. You could never find them at MSRP at any given time. And they were just, they got so pricey already. You got, uh, I think right now market price is around 40 euros. So it makes sense it's getting reprinted in the U, but the, obviously if it's getting reprinted in English, in the US, the market is much broader, which I mean, you could argue the US got a much larger initial print run. It's possible. I don't know. I have no clue. But uh, I mean, if it's getting reprinted here, it's most likely going to get reprinted in the US. And uh, if you're by now, you're wondering Barrett, but the, the Pokemon doesn't print in the European Union. Yes, it does. It does. Actually, the first set it started printing in the European Union was, as a matter of fact, 151. So from 151 onwards, you can fa fact check me right there. Uh, go on the Pokemon website and uh, just just type on Google uh, Pokemon uh, prints in the EU, and it will leads you to the Pokemon uh, Pokemon website, and it will say that they do print in the European Union, in Belgium, and the Netherlands, as a matter of fact. So they do print here. They started this year, last year, uh, from 151 onwards, uh, I don't remember when 151 came out actually, big F on me, but that's what I know, that's what happened, it's, it looks like it's going to get reprinted, what is that going to do to the market, I mean, it, it's going to, in microeconomics term, it's called a shock to the supply, so you're going to get that supply into the market, now, a good thing is that we don't know how big the wave is going to be. So assuming that this info that I got, which comes from a reliable source, so I'm not saying that it's BS, I'm saying that you never know until until you do. So I mean, take it with a pinch of salt, but it, it does come from a reliable source. I can guarantee you that as much as my word is worth. But uh, we don't know about the, the reprint size, so that's gonna be interesting. And uh, I mean, What's going to do the market again? You could expect price to go a bit lower, which I ideally, I'm sure, just like what it's happened and what has happened and what it's happened these past couple of days with Japanese 151, that uh, it's starting to get bought back and prices are bouncing. So that's basically, I would expect pretty much the same in terms of reaction for English. Prices, I have no idea, I have no clue. I don't have a wand. So I couldn't tell you if I did, I would be lying or just making guesses, which are nonsense. What's the point in doing that? So that's what's happening. 
As a matter of fact, one thing I want to show you today, so finally can get rid of my pretty face, is Lost Abyss. Now, we, before we get into Lost Abyss, if you do want to know what I'm planning, what I'm doing these days in the Pokemon investment market, then I highly recommend you watch this video, which will appear somewhere, most likely on top of my face, because I'm still trying to figure out what I will do with 151. I hold neither English nor Japanese, so I'm still figuring that out, but if you want to know what I'm doing right now, then just go watch the video. So, what's interesting is with Lost Abyss, that we got on car market, and again, if you're still watching and you're American, which big W for you, um, we have the first pre-order here on car market for Lost Abyss. And I don't speak German, but I can read Arabic numbers. And that is, it's not, if you're American, not, you do need some sort of translation. It is not May 7th, but it stands for July 5th. That could be, I actually remember, I have a fun story. So if you didn't know, I did a year abroad, um, an exchange year in the US. I was in Maine, good times. Um, so once I showed my, my ID, my passport actually. So my birthday is April 6th. So in let's say European format, it's 0604. They saw the passport and they immediately thought it was June 4th. So yeah. That's a pretty fun story, which none of you is interested in, but um, it did happen. So, Lost Abyss pre-orders. If you're American, why you should care? Well, again, Japanese boxes come from Japan. If we're starting to get pre-orders on car market Jul July 5th, then you can expect most likely the new wave of Lost Abyss hitting the market as well in the US from the first week of July. And uh, what's gonna be interesting is to see the size of this reprint it's going to be pretty interesting i am starting to track the supply for lost abyss and predict trigger with the car market bot which if you don't know what i'm talking about i highly recommend especially if you're european to go watch this video which again will pop up on top of my face but i will leave you the supply on um appearing here right now right now somewhere and uh you can see the big jump that has happened and uh, it's all of because of this guy so i think we can start to we can expect to see much more uh boxes in the market and uh, the previous floor i can also look i'm looking at price right now previous floor was around 100 euros we're now already at 75 and that's just the first one so i would expect prices to go lower most likely lower than 60 but again, not trying to play the guessing game, we will find out. That being said, guys, don't forget to join the Discord if you want to talk about Pokemon investing, Pokemon collecting, or if you just want to say hi to your favorite European PokeTuber. Again, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.